Ziggy and I have a project coming out. It's out of the bag now, so the world knows. We've been working very diligently over two years and um, just working very hard, redefining my sound as well as his sound. We definitely got out of our comfort zone, but in, in the best way. Um, we were able to record the entire project at Beacon Hill Recording Studio with Orlando. He did a, a phenomenal job with everything on the vocal tracking side and uh, effects, everything. He's best in the business. You know, I have nothing but the utmost respect for that guy. Ziggy is probably one of the most versatile artists slash, you know, his design, like everything. He's very well-rounded. He knows art on a different level than most people can comprehend. With Ziggy, I call him the Swiss blade knife because he can do it all. You know, he can sing, he can rap. Um, he's excellent at writing. He's got great subject matter all the time. And a lot of the instrumentals that I prepared were pretty complex. So there's a track known as Autumn. When I made that song, I had really no um, general idea of who I was going to have sing on it. Um, I initially made it just because I was going through all sorts of different emotions. And so I first started with just the composition on piano. It didn't have anything, um, just strictly piano. I made out the entire progression. I had no intention of who I was gonna have on it, but then, you, uh, you know, Palmora and everyone involved thought it'd be a great idea to send it over to Zig and see if he enjoyed it. And that just became like the, love child of this project, if you will. You know, that track really kicked off the entire idea of us making the entire project together. I've been able to work with multiple artists around the Southwest, more on a single format, you know, never like a full album recorded by me. We were also heavily influenced by the NAV and Metro Boomin project that came out. The fact that this huge pro producer was working strictly with one artist and so, Ziggy and I have always made music together, but we never really put together just an entire project with him and I. And so we wanted to reinvent the wheel here and just focus on a project that was very distinct from anything we've heard before in this area, but also something that was unique to his craft and unique to my craft. I made all the instrumentals. He had free ability to make the tracks as he wanted, you know, and that's I think the best part about mine and Zig's sound is that our styles are so unique, but when it comes together, it's just perfect. It, it works, you know, it works unlike anything else. So it's really awesome. I'm really lucky to work with Zig on this project. Quality is number one above everything. You know, a lot of people will rush projects and producers will have like hundreds of tracks produced. But at the end of the day, if you you could, anyone could put together, you know, samples from Splice or, you know, that's really common. People are just dropping tracks and not really focusing on the actual, you know, importance of mixing it, mastering it, making sure the sounds make sense, you know. And so quality was super huge when we made this project. We wanted to go to the best place that we could and Ziggy recorded all of the vocals at Beacon Hill. We know that that places 100% quality. It's been Grammy nominated, multi-platinum. They care about quality just as much as I do, you know, probably more so. So we knew that we had to do the project there. Orlando took care of the vocals immensely. You know, that's what I'm most excited for everyone to listen to is the quality piece of it. You know, at the end of the day, maybe you, you might hate it, you might love it, but no one can judge the fact that it wasn't a quality project. You know, everything sounds really clean and you can tell we took our time with it. Mutually, we knew Amir John Dolly and everyone knows Amir. You know, he's just such a big piece of all of our inspiration in the movement. You know, he started DJing before I did and that's how I got started into the musical process on this end. You know, I've played music my whole life, but the production side never started until I met Amir and Easy and Diesel and so Ziggy used to stay at Amir's house and that's where I met Ziggy and at the time I think um, he was really just barely getting started um, just as I was so it's been really cool to kind of grow together 
you know, as musicians and as artists and as people in this area of the Southwest. But I think working with Ziggy is even more so unique because he's just always got like the perfect rebuttal to the beat that I send. Like I can send him something with one thing in mind, but then I'll get something back and I'm like, gosh, that's so much better than what I even pictured it to be, you know? So it's really organic in that essence. Like, so for me and Zig, it's not even just like the musical background. It's like Ziggy's one of my best friends, you know? And we always kick ideas back and forth. We're always in the loop. I moved to San Diego, but we're always in touch. And this project, even though it was long distance, if you will, it was perfect because we had the right idea in mind and we have everything in scope to get things rolling. Before moving to San Diego, I had way more time on my hands to actually sit and produce and work on things. And I think oftentimes I was far too nice with the business side of things. You know, I'd make these really hard worked instrumentals and I'd have nothing to show for it. You know, um, a lot of people would say, yeah, like I'll pay you such and such. And then they'd never follow through and they'd release the track and they'd have their ends met, you know, and I'd never see a penny from it. But at the end of the day, I think that's part of growing and you realize that everyone doesn't have the best interests for you. They will use you and they'll take your best work and put your name on it, but that's it, you know? And so now I'm looking at it from a far better aspect where if you're not depositing the funds for the instrumental, I'm not sending it back, you know? Because you have to stand your ground, you have to be a good negotiator and you have to understand the worth of the actual hard work that you're putting forth for it. I'd say that's my biggest growing uh, aspect is really respecting myself and respecting my process and understanding that I do make really good music. And if I'm gonna collaborate with someone, I want it to be someone who is very driven, who understands the financial aspect of it and who's not gonna take you know, my music for granted. So I think that's the biggest growing part of this project. Ziggs, an extreme businessman as well, you know, and he completely understands that aspect. Palmore is the same, Beacon Hills is the same. And it's cool, it's, it's a very professional project. That's what we wanted. And I think that's, that's exactly what the vision is culminating into. You should always take your craft to the next level and understand that your craft has value. You know, you should never sell yourself short and give things out for free because people will take advantage of it. You know, so 100% it's a business. From the production side, from the video side, from asking Ziggy for a feature, from going to record at Beacon Hills, you have to have your money right. You know, you have to understand that people are working for a living and they're gonna give you the best work, but you also have to, you know, have your money right. And that's just all finance, you should know that. You know, there's been a lot of people who have been reaching out about production and I'm gonna have some collaborative, collaborative efforts. Um, Akeem and I are working on some stuff. Uh, Young Deluxe and I have many tracks um, on the radar and ultimately I'd love to work with a lot more people in the Southwest. I, I wanna work with um, some people that I can't really mention at the moment, but the goal is to have a lot of music released this next year. And I have a lot of music that is ready to go to be released.